Hey, thanks everybody for joining us today. Live Music Nation podcast, festival edition. Today, we are with David Lee from the Greater Clinton, Missouri Chamber of Commerce, home of Old Glory Days and a couple of other festivals that he's going to talk about. David, thanks for joining us. Thanks a lot, Jake. I appreciate it. Hey, give us a little background on you, David. Where'd you grow up? And talk a little bit about your career and then now to your position with the Chamber. Well, I grew up right here in Clinton, Missouri, USA. Um, Started in radio my uh, junior year of high school. That was 1982. And I was uh, in radio at, um, I guess, three different stations uh, from 1982 until 2020. Um, worked part-time here in Clinton. Um, and then went to college up in um, Warrensburg at the University of Central Missouri. And came back on the weekends to work some shifts. And um, so then uh, at August of 2020, I three years now a little over two years yeah august of 2020 and um uh, let me see i think it was uh, august 10th of, of uh, 2022 is my two-year anniversary so a little over two years all right now you're not you're not the dave from kdkd KD, are you that's me that is you all right yeah. very good i i was like i was like there can't be too many davids in in clinton missouri that were in radio <laughs> That's right. No, I was uh, I was a KDKD from uh, from eighty two to eighty nine. Then I came back in um, uh, twenty thirteen, I believe it was, and uh, ended ended my radio career in twenty twenty. But yeah, Jake, I remember very good. Yeah, you're still in my Facebook feed, so very good. Hey, so tell us tell us a little bit about Old Glory Days. Let's let's start with the origin of it and the history behind it. You know, old, the first Old Glory Days was in uh, 1994. Um, there just wasn't too much going on in Clinton during the 4th of July weekend. And and some folks uh, thought, you know, we should get a something together. And so it's been about a, a four or five day festival uh, since then. It's always the, the it, if the 4th of July falls on a weekend, it's always that weekend. If not, kind of like in 2023, I believe the 4th is on a Tuesday. So we'll do everything the weekend before, um, like maybe that Thursday through Sunday. So, um, yeah, it's been around since 1994. It's in some ways it's changed over the last uh, 30 years. Some some things have, have stayed the same. But, yeah, we're getting ready to uh, uh, celebrate our 30th anniversary in 2023. Very cool. Was it? Was it, were you a little nervous? Were you a little anxious when they started that on, on the 4th of July weekend, being that that's, I mean, it's either going to be the destination to be at or it's going to be a sideshow. Was, was there any hesitancy about that when they started that? No, I, I'm not for sure of that. I was in radio uh, other than KDKD here in Clinton at the time. And, and so, you know, I was kind of involved with it, but certainly not the planning. Uh, we did a lot of live broadcasts and, and announcing and emceeing and things like that. And then that continued when I went back to um, – KDKD, KD, but I've never been on the inside of it um, until I came here in uh, 2020. Of course, of COVID, we didn't have one in uh, 2020, but then um, in 2021 and in 2022, uh, us here at the chamber, we put on, as far as the new people here at the chamber, we put on our first two Old Glory Days. And, uh, you know, there's so much going on in this area on Labor Day weekend. You can go north, south, east, and west. And, and there are things going on. And really the 4th of July weekend, at least here in West Central Missouri, there's not that many things going on. So I think, I think they slash we picked the right weekend to do this. Sure, no, for sure. And, and really it's become your town's marquee event, correct? Yeah, you know, I, I think it is. It's, it's, it's the biggest event that the Clinton Chamber uh, puts on each year. There are other events here in Clinton, but this is the biggest thing that the Chamber will do. Um, we're already looking at entertainment, you know, for 2023 sure. here in late November, early December of 2022. Uh, hopefully we'll have that set sometime in, you know, January or February of 23 for a thing that's going to take place the weekend before the 4th of July uh, weekend. So, and then really about April, but then again, May, um, I'd say about 90% of our time each day 
is uh, making sure that All Glory Days is ready to go. For sure, for sure. Highlight some of the events that you guys have on a regular basis. During All Glory Days? Yes. Yeah, we have um, on the Friday and Saturday night, we, we always have two concerts. We try to do a, a country music, a couple of country music concerts on the uh, on the Friday night, and a couple of rock and roll concerts on, on Saturday night. Uh, they can be artists. Um, uh, we like to use a lot of cover bands um, because they play the they play the songs and the music that people know. Mm-hmm. They can they can put their lawn chair in the lawn of our Henry County Courthouse lawn, sit back. And, and sing along to the songs, whatever that might be, either Friday night or Saturday night. Uh, we always have a carnival. It's uh, it, it's a very good carnival. They've been with us uh, all 29, coming up 30 years. People really look forward to that. We have some sideshow acts on a smaller stage. Uh, you know, people doing magic or juggling or uh, just different entertainment throughout throughout the four days. Um, a parade is always a, a highlight. It got rained out in 2022, so <laughs> we're hoping for uh, sunny, sunny skies on parade day in, in 2023. But um, uh, exhibitors, uh, food that we shouldn't be eating, uh, <laughs> at, it, it's the same food we eat throughout the year, but you know, sure. you always, we shouldn't be eating this right now, but it, it, it tastes a little bit better. So there's just so many different things going on, and, and most of it is on the, our downtown square. Unless you buy some food or souvenir or whatever, everything is free. Uh, and we also have a gospel concert out at our Benson Center. That's kind of our convention center here in Clinton, mm-hmm. and that's as free as well. But it's on a Sunday evening, so um, if it, you've been out in the heat all weekend, it's a chance to go in and listen to some gospel music and uh, in, in air conditioning comfort. Sure, sure. Now, what about a queen pageant or a treasure hunt or um, kids' activities, anything like that? You know, we, we've uh, we've we've never done a queen pageant. <clears throat> I'll leave that up to our Henry County Fair. That's about sure. two weeks after Old Glory Days. Okay. So we don't do that, but there's plenty of things for the kids to do. You know, the bounce houses. Uh, we had a mechanical bull this past year. Um, it, you know, the carnival supplies a lot of great things uh, for the kids to do. And, and, and you can buy a carnival armband that will last, I believe it's four hours here at the chamber leading up to uh, the carnival. So you, you can get off a ride and get in line and, and ride the same ride yeah. from, from noon till four on a Saturday afternoon if you want to. So, yeah, there's plenty of things for kids to do. Very good. David, for the for the... 18 years that you've been around the the old glory days. What's your greatest memory that you have? What stands out the most? Or the greatest memory? Um, mm. You know, I, th- I think either either being in the parade and, you know, representing the radio stations uh, that I was in, um, you know, just seeing so many different people and people yelling at your name and seeing the people you know. And uh, here lately, I- I'm the MC for the parade. So, it's getting to talk to the people as they come by, uh, you know, on the loudspeaker, uh, j- just to try to add a little bit to the parade. So the, the parade is, is something I think I'll, I'll always remember, but I get excited about those acts that we have on Friday night and Saturday night. Are, are they going to be good? Are they not going to be quite as good? But sure. you know, I, I think in the 29 years, and I'm going to knock on wood when I say this, go... <laughs> Don't know if you can hear that or not, but, um, you know, I, I really don't think we've had a stinker as, as far as far as, you know, performances. We've had some that are better than others, but none that you walk away from going like they were terrible. So what's the, what's the one performance that stands out to you that you just you know, we had a little band quite a few years ago. And, and I remember that we had a tribute to uh, we've had tributes to Kiss. Uh, the Beatles, I remember those. Uh, a tribute to the uh, to the Eagles, and you know, once again, it's not the real thing. But but some of these acts, and I know you probably come across them quite a bit. Some of these acts do a pretty good job yeah. of uh, of recreating what they were back then or they are now. Just this last year, we had a uh, a tribute band, um, and the name escapes me for some reason. 
um, and, and, and they were very good. Um, and so, so that's what I remember the most, I think. Yeah, no, technology has definitely helped, helped that capacity a lot for sure. tribute bands. Yeah, so let me ask you this little fun question. If you could bring any act to Old Glory Days, dead or alive, money not an issue, dead or alive, who, who would you bring? Elvis. Elvis. Without Elvis him, he'd was, love to be in Missouri. I, I, would, ha I would have him sing um, his, uh, his country and his gospel on Friday night. Oh, there you <laughs> For our rock and roll show on Saturday, I'd have him. <laughs> he'd have him up. His rock music on Saturday night. Yeah. No, for sure. That's, 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 that's good thinking. David, um, talk about just a few of the other events at the Chamber of Hosts through the come, year. If I just uh, mellowed for a moment, it was a, a Blake Shelton tribute band out of, uh, out of Texas, and they were very, very good. Oh, fantastic. Uh, name, us, name us a couple of the other events that you have throughout the year. Um, you know, I'll, I'll kind of go beginning. Um, you know, it, it, it's quiet here kind of in, in West Central Missouri as far as Clinton. Um, mm -hmm. In, in the winter months, so not too much going on. I'm, I'm going to say in January, February, and March, we have a few things. Okay. But uh, we have a quilt walk on our downtown square. It's the uh, it's the largest square in Missouri. Um, we've heard fourth or fifth largest in the United States, so so we're pretty proud of our square. Yeah. Uh, this May, we're going to have our very first disc golf tournament because our nine-hole course is now an 18-hole course, so we're yeah. happy about that. We have a rodeo. This will be the third year that we'll have a rodeo in June. Uh, of course, Old Glory Days, late June slash early July. Yep. Uh, we have a couple of bicycle. It, it's called Bicycle Across Missouri, the Big Bam. Uh, they originate here in Clinton on a, uh, they all gather on a Sunday night, uh, sleep over either in our hotels, tents, whatever. Then they get up and they bike across uh, Missouri over the uh, a week's time. So we have that coming up twice. Uh, next, once in May, and the other's always in October. Um, we will have a wine stroll coming up uh, right around uh, September. Once again, that's around our square. And then uh, we just got done with our um, uh, lighting of our square, and we also have a, a lighted Christmas parade. Each entry has to have some sort of Christmas lights on it. So that kind of gives you an idea of what we do throughout the year each year. Yeah, very good. David, how do people find out more information about Old Glory Days, number one, and then some of the other events that you talk about? Yeah, great, great question. Uh, probably the best way to find out about uh, Clinton and our activities is uh, www.clintonmo.com. Okay. Uh, it's our website. We share it with the city, uh, Park and Recreation, the Chamber, Economic Development. Um, it, it's, there's, there's a lot there, so make sure you spaced out a lot of time sure you but um uh old glory days is on that website but okay. uh, we we have we have a facebook page it's old glory days and i'll tell people make sure you put an e on the end of old so it's uh, old glory days uh, on on facebook and um probably in about february or march we'll start sending out some hints of some of the things that we have coming up uh, for the 2023 celebration. So nice. that's the best place to find out about OGD, as we like to call it. There you go. Very good. David Lee, thank you for joining us today. I appreciate you greatly. Hey, thanks a lot. I mean, you know. Well, baby, I'm on with a bottle.